Hello, this is Maker J1, and this is going to be a more in-depth video for the LED light bulb control panel because a few people were a little stumped on it. It's probably the more the harder part of the um, build. Um, but so I guess we'll start with the um, the actual circuit here, the pulse width modulation circuit. Um, this is just a circuit I got off um, online. Um, so it consists of a 5-5 timer um, and an op amp. So the op amp is a, the 5-5 timer is just LM555 and the, um, the op amp is a LM393. Um, so I think I used a, a, this is another kind of op amp, C3558, and that's actually a dual op amp, but you don't need a dual op amp, that's just what I had. Um, because I didn't really buy any parts for this at all, um, so I was just kind of using scrap parts. So some of this I actually had to bit to add other components because I didn't have other components. So I had to kind of, if I had a 10k potentiometer and I needed a 5k, I would have to add some other resistors to um, kind of make it so it's a 10k. Um, but so this circuit was is a pulse width modulation circuit to drive a motor. So that would be your motor right there. Um, so you don't need this MOSFET or this resistor here, you just need this part and you connect the LEDs right to here. Um, so on here, so, and I also replaced these two resistors here with these two small adjustable potentiometers because I needed to get the duty cycle, so this potentiometer right here con um, controls the duty cycle which is the on period. So right here we have a very low duty cycle so the LEDs would only blink every time this turns on. So so that's what it is. So at one end of this dial that's it's going to have a low duty cycle. So the LEDs are only going to blink there, there's going to be they're only going to be on for a very short period of time. Um, let me see if I can demonstrate this here. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not. Okay, so this is the duty cycle. So, wait, let me get it to stop spinning here. Okay. Alright, so this is a low. Oh, I don't know if I, the camera's gonna even pick this up. Alright, so right now the LEDs are only on for a very short period of time. But if I turn up the duty cycle, see the length of time that they're on gets much longer. I'm not changing the frequency or the speed of the motor at all. That's only the duty cycle changing. So that's what duty cycle looks like. So what so what I needed to do is I added these, I replaced these two what are these? Um, these are 10k resistors with two 20 kilo ohm um, potentiometers because I couldn't get with just 10k resistors I couldn't get the duty cycle to go all the way from zero to a hundred percent so the LEDs would still have a little, it would, would look like they weren't on in one little spot because I couldn't get it to go all the way to 100. So I needed to adjust that, so I used, so I replaced them with these. You may not need to do that, but I had to um, to get it perfect. Um, so if you're not, if you, you just want to make one, you don't really need to have those. You can just use 10K potential, I mean, resistors, but I wanted it so that I could adjust it the whole range. So I needed to add those. So, let's see what else. So, I added this little capacitor here. It doesn't have it in this circuit, but that's just a filter capacitor. Um, we've got a 10K resistor, which is, yeah, it's 10K. That is this one right here. Um, this is this resistor. Well, this one right here, the duty cycle, um, which is this one. That is a 10, let me see here. I think it's, yeah, it's 10K. And this one here it's not real critical what resistor you use for the um, frequency. Um, I think I used a 100K, um, but a 1 mega ohm would give you even more frequency. Um, you could change the frequency a lot better. Um, so pretty much any thing would do there. Um, just the bigger the value of resistance, the um, better it's going to be basically. Um, 
So the switches, this is the power switch right here. Um, that just turns the 12 volts on and off. Um, this or is it this switch right here switches between these three capacitors. This is a center off. This is a special kind of switch. It's a center off. You don't have to have this. Um, you don't even have to have this switch. Um, but I chose to have it so that it switches between those three capacitors because this capacitor, that capacitor right there, um, that tells the five, the five five timer what frequency to operate at. So, or kind of. So if you change that value, you're going to get a different frequency. Um, so basically the higher the value, the lower the frequency. So I think I used, um, like, I think these are, I used three different values. They're all, this one is like, um, let me think, I think it's, the number on it is, let me think here. Um, forget what how to convert those little numbers. There's a one, 104. That one has a 104. Um, this one, so I think that is, oh boy. I think that's one nanofarad. Or wait, no. Uh, let me look at my thing here. Um, so 0, 004 is gonna be that many picofarads, 100 nanofarads, so it's so this, so I have 100 nanofarads, um, and then the other one is 1,000 nanofarads, which would be one microfarad, and then the other one, the middle one, is um, that would be 10 nanofarads. So there's a 10 nanofarad capacitor on here. Oh, I don't know. This is not really necessarily um, important, but just in the Probably around 50 um, nanofarads is probably good, um, but you could just play around with that value. Um, so I guess the motors are the next part, um, or the um, LM317 voltage regulators to control the motor speeds. So I used two 10k potentiometers, um, but the actual circuit that the that is the right circuit is uses 5k potentiometers. So you actually want to use so if you can find 5k potentiometers, and then you use a 250 or 240 ohm um, res resistor here, um, but I this is one thing because I didn't buy any of the parts. I could only find 10k potentiometers in my box, so I used 10k potentiometers, and I had to add these little. Um, I replaced this 240 ohm resistor with these 5k. Um, potentiometers so that I could adjust the speed to cancel out the to get it to the right resistance so so yeah those control the motors you'll want to make sure that the motors of your LED light bulbs are not too big so they don't draw more than um, 1.5 amps or they're gonna burn out your LM317's um, because these can only handle 1.5 amps so so yeah um, I don't know. I guess the rest of it's pretty much straightforward. Um, these two switches right here just turn them on and off um, because these only go down, only adjust the voltage down to um, I think it's like 1.2 volts or something. So the motors are still going to be on even if the dial is all the way down here, as you can see. So I just wanted it so that you could turn the motors off if you wanted to. So that's why those switches are there. So they're not really required. Um, but, but yeah. So really, if you wanted to make a very simple version of this, um, you could get rid of this switch here and these all, all these three switches and just have these four dials and the on-off switch. So, so you have duty cycle, which is a 10K potentiometer. Um, you have the frequency, which is um, one mega ohm, I guess, would be good. Um, and then these, you'd probably want to use 5K potentiometers. And then you need, across the um, LM317, you need a 240 ohm resistor. Um, other than that, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, 
But yeah, really this circuit is pretty simple. It's just, I don't know. It's my, actually, it's my first PCB, so it's not the best, but it works. My layout isn't too good because I had to put a bunch of jumpers on there, but... But yeah, you can build this on a breadboard. Um, it doesn't have to be like this. You can probably... With the ICs, it's kind of hard to just kind of wire it up um, with just little short pieces of wire. That's kind of hard to do, but... Um, so you probably want to at least do it on a breadboard um, or some kind of prototyping board. It wouldn't be too hard to do. Um... But yeah, so this is basically what you need. So you just don't need the, um, yeah, I don't know. Hope this helps. Um, if you have any questions, um, send me a personal message or uh, post a comment. I um, hope this helps. Um, thanks for watching.